Whiskered aldrich occurs most often in males due to its X-linked recessive pattern of inheritance. It affects between 1 to 10 males per million worldwide. It can actually be termed as a primary immunodeficiency disorder. Now, these are a group of dis disorders in which we observe poor or absent function in one or more components of the immune system. Now, how does this manifest in Viscut Aldridge syndrome? Well, this is caused by the altered expression of CD43. This gene encodes for a glycoprotein or Viscut Aldridge syndrome proteins or WASPs, you, you can call them. These form an important part of the cytoskeleton of the immune cells like T cells and thrombocytes. This leads to defective actin bundle formation. So the impairment of cytoskeleton of immune cells will lead to loss of function of these immune cells and increased sequestration of platelets by the spleen. As a result, we will observe the clinical triad that is a characteristic of viscid Alder syndrome. The patient will have recurrent infections, they will observe eczema, and they will have thrombocytopenic purpura as a result of extremely low platelet or thrombocyte count. The first signs are usually petechiae and bruising, resulting from a low platelet count. And a dark colored bloody feces or melina may also be observed, indicating internal bleeding. Oftentimes, leukemia may be suspected on the basis of low platelets and recurrent infections. However, a bone marrow biopsy may be performed, and decreased levels of WASP are typically observed. Now, the current gold standard for diagnosis is DNA sequence analysis, which can detect this disease and related disorders in 95% of patients and also carriers. So that was two minutes. If you're looking for more details about this disease, comment down below or keep watching scadia.com.